Okay, so it's been a minute. Hi, I'm Isaiah. I make games as a hobbyist currently. Um, I just released my most recent game, Reclaim. Uh, I at first had a difficult time figuring out what I wanted to create. Um, I knew I wanted to branch out and learn something new, but I didn't know exactly what. Um, all my previous games had been either top-down shooter type games or um, platforming type games, so I wanted to create something different. Uh, after a good amount of thought, I decided to create a board game slash like a card game because um, I wanted to do something that maybe relied less on physics and was more of, you know, UI and and just specific like in-depth code. So I remembered an old Flash game that I used to play as a kid and thought, you know, I can make a crappy version of that. And so then I tried my best to recreate some of the feel that that game had and just some of the core elements of it because... I'm not going to be able to get it perfect, obviously, in less than two months or two months or so. I set myself a goal of April 3rd and got to work. I started with simple map generation uh, that would generate a grid of tiles and gave it a random number to spawn a tile. Um, not great, but it worked for testing. That means that it was completely random. I, after that, I did a little bit of a first draft on the layout and the look of the menus. They were far from finished. I added a function of the map generation that would set a flag on one of the tiles that was not too close to an edge and make that the player's base when they first start the game. Um, now that the player owned a tile, I could implement a fog of war that said if you were, uh, you know, more than one block away, hide yourself with the fog of war and don't let yourself be clicked. I implemented the scouting, the raiding, and the settling to at least some degree. Um, I had some issues where the scouting was also giving materials and stuff like that to the player when they would finish successfully scouting a mission. I only wanted it to be where if you raided it, you'd get all the stuff, and if there was no zombies there, you could settle it and then get all the stuff. Um, if, if you were able to get it while settling and raiding, I found that the player was ultra overpowered. They had way too much stuff, and I didn't feel like it was right to just reduce the amount of materials you got overall. I wanted to make it so you can only get them from raiding, so scouting is just an information mission. Next, I created a turn management system that would cycle through the parts of a turn um, from morning to day to dusk to night and then back to morning. And each one would have their respective thing that would happen. Um, day is the one where you can actually make choices. I created two simple panels just for dusk and night that just said next uh, so that I could test and really get the morning and the action lists working. After a hefty night of code and probably an energy drink or two, uh, I had the morning panel displaying mostly the right information. Uh, it has to do with, it, it takes the action list and it goes through the actions and it says what needs to be done this turn. And then it goes through and displays each one of them as you click the next, 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 all the way through. I made the dusk panel calculate the chance of survival through the night and then made the night panel roll the dice on that chance that the dusk panel created. So that you go dusk, it tells you what chance you have to succeed, and then night, it actually tells you whether you succeeded or not. Okay, so the map gen is currently just complete randomness. It looks like some sort of crazy flag. Uh, I created a way to input weights so that each tile would spawn a different weight compared to the other ones. I did one version with the weights, and found that it still looked too much like a flag. So I did another with better weights and it felt much more like a natural suburbs and that it would play well. At this point in my adventure, I got super ill. I was on day three of taking care of my girlfriend after her wisdom teeth extraction and I got a sore throat. And then add in some fatigue. And then how about a low grade fever and body aches? Cause why not? Yeah, that was a bad week and a half. Towards the end of the second week, when I started feeling a little better, I was very sluggish to get back to the game because I still wasn't feeling great. I, I, I was much more likely to just go on a walk or just chill or watch something. And then on top of that, we had other daily things with life and all that stuff going on. Needless to say, it was like two to three more weeks before I actually started working on it again. But when I did, oh boy was I mad.
I was like three or four days from the deadline and I only had the main structure of the game mostly done. Where was all that juicy polish? I worked and I worked. I changed the font a whole three times. Yep, that, that's how intense it got. I worked and I worked. But I failed my deadline. It doesn't matter though, I'm the boss so I set my deadlines. I just added like another week and said, go. I changed panel textures twice until I ended up finding the paper texture that is in the current end game. I started spicing it up with a little bit of screen shake when you screw up. I added some superb quality of life improvements like being able to quit my game and open up something different. One of the last few days I redid all of the art in the game, specifically to remove the flag likeness. I had a couple friends playtest the game and found all sorts of juicy bugs. I also found a bunch of balance changes that needed to that I needed to make in order to make the game playable. I, I created a better main menu by adding a drifting effect of the camera so that when I created the background image, it would look like it's drifting over the city. At this point, I gave the project a name because Zombie Tile Game isn't exactly the most inspiring piece of work. I created the itch.io page and made it look pretty. I then posted my most recent build and called it good. As an afterthought, I, I uploaded an HTML5 version for the people who don't like to click spooky links on the internet. But I didn't feel like figuring out how to make saving work, so yeah. Alrighty, I had a good amount of fun with this project. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to my next project. Um, I learned a lot, and I feel like at least my efficiency and confidence are improving as I work through these projects. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, drop a like, hit subscribe to follow me through this year. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.